Hello everyone, I'm Cadet Murphy with the Iowa State Army ROTC Cyclone Battalion. And today for my supplemental instructional video, I'll be showing you all how to set up a fighting load carrier or a flick for short. This will be a pretty basic setup in this video guide. So it will allow you to have room to modulate it and add pouches and do whatever you deem necessary to make it best fit your personal preferences and needs. So for MS-1 cadets or new cadets that have just joined the program, you might be wondering what a flick is exactly and what it's used for. The fighting load carrier is a vest strapped onto your torso that has a molly system on it so you can attach pouches just like this one and modulate it to best fit your needs. The molly system, which stands for modular lightweight load carrying equipment, contains rows of heavy duty fabric like these that allows for molly specific straps as you can see here, like these ones, to be weaved between the attachment and equipment you're adding it to. This allows for secure on-the-go access and adaptability. You'll be using the Flick in Army ROTC to hold canteens, magazines, and other essential items, such as your compass, headlamp, gloves, and eye protection as you conduct lab and field training exercises. It'll also be used while training at basic and advanced camp. The Flick you can see here is very similar to the one we're gonna be setting up today. There's a flashbang pouch, six mag pouches right here, and then I'll have two canteen holders. So to start, I'll be going over the different parts that will be put onto your flick. This is a pretty basic setup that leaves room for you to add extra pouches if you have them to better suit your needs and personal preferences. To set this up, you'll need at minimum the flick itself. You also need this attached three mag pouch. You'll need two of those. You also need two of these canteen pouches and one flashbang pouch. You also want some green tape when setting this up and uh, you can also use uh, the three regular mag pouches and two grenade pouches after the basic setup um, just to better fit your needs like I mentioned earlier. Before we add any pouches and mod the flick itself, you want to make sure that the flick properly fits you and rests upon your torso comfortably. You can use these straps on the top left shoulder and right shoulder to adjust how high the flick rests on your body. And then on the back side of the flick, there are straps that can be adjusted to your lower torso's width so that it isn't too loose or too tight. I would recommend setting your flick with the front zipper always closed and this buckle right here. It just buckles shut so you can load it from the front and then buckle it on the back right here. I find this the most comfortable and easiest way of putting on your flick. So any excess straps like this right here should be rolled up and either bound together with this green tape like this or with an elastic band if it comes with it. Don't leave any straps dangling around because it could get caught on something and it looks bad. I recommend writing your last name on Sharpie or something else to indicate that this is your flick so you can keep track of it and keep anyone from accidentally taking it. Now on to actually adding pouches using the Molly system. We're going to start with attaching the flash grenade on either the top left or the front right shoulder depending on what you're most comfortable with. This is the easiest pouch to put on and you'll put it on as so. Use the top left row of whichever shoulder you choose. Slide it in the first row, make sure it's all the way in. And then you'll take it and loop it through this row. So it's like that. And then finally, push it through one more row. It will be tight, so this might be a little difficult. And then finally, you snap it in place, just like that. I recommend leaving this other shoulder area open so that you can attach ranger beads, an admin pouch, or any other pouches you deem necessary based on personal preference. You can also attach a case for your iPro, which is what a lot of people do as well. So to attach the three mag pouches that are connected together, I'm gonna to start up the third row of the flick right next to the zippers. 
it'll attach like this on both sides here. I'll show you how to attach it. You start here, this third row, push this through, skip a row, push this one through, then skip a row and put that one through. You will then pull it all the way through like that. So make sure it's tight. And then you go through a row on the actual mag pouches like this. It should look like that to start. Then we'll go through another row on the flick. And then the final row on the mag pouches. After that, we'll go through one last row on the Molly system. So this should be hanging off like that and then just button all together. So afterwards, this is what your mag pouches should look like on the flick. To wrap things up, we will be adding the canteen pouches to the side of the flick right here. If you look right here next to the side belt, we'll be putting the pouches through these rows and these rows and skipping this row. So to do that, we'll set it up like this. Put one strip through the first row, make sure it goes all the way through, and then Put your second strip through the second row, make it tight. Put it through the first row of the canteen pouch. Keep it tight. Then put it through this row. On your flip. back through the canteen pouch. And finally through the last loop of the flick. So it should look like that at the end. Just button it together. And you have your canteen pouch right there. So after you finish all this, put your other mag pouch on this side, just mirror this one, and then do the same with the canteen pouch on the other side, and you have the basic assembly of a flick. You will have room right here, and then on the mag pouches to put in any more pouches and mod it to best suit your needs. So that wraps up my video today. Thank you.